Welcome everybody to Extreme Off-Road Silly Bills and today we're dealing with the 1986 MG Metro 6R4 now this has 936 horsepower 591 pounds feet of torque from its 3 litre twin turbocharged V6 engine the car itself now weighs 2,372 pounds still has all-wheel drive but it now has the off-road tyres and off-road suspension to go with it although this was already a rally car so who knows how much of a difference it's made and uh, yeah it can now do not 60 in 3.275 seconds not to 105.984 seconds and going to a top speed of 196 miles an hour so we had quite a surprise in the previous episode with the Aston Martin 177 being surprisingly quick as it went all the way up into second place which yeah isn't something that has happened for quite a while to get a car that quick so uh, yeah, hoping that this rally car can do as well. And uh, yeah, obviously it doesn't weigh very much. Uh, it's got a lot of power from its original engine, which has been you know tur twin turbocharged and uh, made more powerful. Uh, the only real letdown is the handling, uh, so it's only 6.1, but everything else is pretty much top, you know, ship shape. So uh, yeah, let's uh, see what it can do. And uh, yeah, let's hope that it can be quick. Now, obviously, it is quite a small car not got much of a uh, wheelbase on the go so cars that, that that I like that can typically be a bit oversteering and easy or prone to at least slipping out of your control and sliding out let's hope that's not the case with this but as you can see by the rear tyres they're quite large so should have plenty of grip let's go along with that huge amount of power obviously this was not slow in its standard form by any means it's definitely a lot quicker now. We have the potential for a new leader here. That, you know, two jets from Hot Wheels being at the top of the leaderboard for a very long time now. Very good brakes on this, which is going to help way very much either so therefore I've got much momentum to slow down. And obviously being such a small car, quite agile. It was obviously already you know designed for doing this kind of thing. Already had the all-wheel drive system. So it's not out of its comfort zone even though it is going to be going a hell of a lot quicker than it originally did. Although I doubt we're going to be able to get up to nearly 200 mile an hour. To do that. Oh, I made that. Oh, yeah, okay. Somehow, so that checkpoint's a little bit more lenient than the others. down it's the fact that it's a near 40 year old car. Those aerodynamics are going to be uh, useful or not, I'm not sure. Oh there's a finger fade it would happen. Slide out because it's got a very limited wheelbase. I'm going to use two of our rewinds there, we now only have one left. So yeah, we're going to have to be extremely careful. I knew that would happen. It's a very easy thing to do with a, such a small wheelbase car to slide it out like that. down there, it's pretty quick. A lot of understeer there though unfortunately, come on. Well it's not a new leader, 
but it is easily one of the fastest cars we've had on this series so far at 3 minutes 14.411 seconds and we're not that far off the um, the Hot Wheels 2 Jets but we are for the second episode in a row getting a car going into second place as that is the uh, only second car to get below the 3 minute 15 mark so it's not quite as quick as the 2 Jets but like the uh, 177 it has closed that gap between second and first place by a decent margin as we uh, yeah we're about 0.7 a second quicker than the 177 and we're only just over two seconds behind the two jets but that is a still a remarkably quick time from this car while it also shows just how quick that two jets was so uh, yeah I feel like if we were a little bit braver, braver in a couple of areas we might well have gotten a little bit faster but yeah it's such a hectic car to keep in a uh, straight line and keep the power down due to its small wheelbase and lack of weight that it's a uh, yeah, it's a very tricky car, and I can't imagine you'd get that much more in, out of it, out of this in terms of time, given you know several more reruns. But yeah, regardless, that is still a incredibly quick time, straight into second place. And to put that in perspective, it's only the only other MG that we've had on this series has been the MG3, which wasn't a slow car by any means. It's still in you know it's now in 33rd place, but. That managed a time of 3 minutes 24.863, so we're more than 10 seconds quicker than that car. So, yeah, that is a remarkably quick time from this car, and uh, yeah, just goes to show again that some cars that might be uh, used to this kind of thing might not be that quick, but some cars generally are. And uh, yeah, this, like the Peugeot 207 Super 2000, is a rally car, and a rally car that has done extremely well. So, uh, yeah, really pleased with how that's done, even if it, is, it hasn't been come quite the uh, leader but it is still like I said only the second car to get below the 3 minute 15 mark so uh, yeah mightily impressive and uh, yeah I'm glad it's done as well as it has because it's a car I really rather enjoy nonetheless thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye